candy itself is 99% cane sugar. People are really kind of looking back to what's authentic, but we aren't making candy in North Carolina because it's the popular thing to do, but because it's what we've always done. Piedmont Candy Company has been around for 126 years. We make Red Bird candy. We are mainly known for our peppermint puffs and sticks. Peppermint candy is really popular this time of year, but what makes our candy different than candy cane is that it's pure cane sugar and no corn syrup. The corn syrup gives the candy canes this really hard, crunchy texture. Because our candy is sugar-based, it's the candy that crumbly, soft texture that we're really known for. in September and October is when we have to start making all the candy for Christmas. We've always been a family-owned company. My grandfather, who started Piedmont Candy, was Ed Ebelin. He started making candy in 1890 and chose to make soft peppermint sticks because it was the cheapest thing and required the least equipment, and this was during the Depression. I always tell them that's the, my granddaddy's recipe, and it's still the same recipe. I think that's really special that we've been around that long and have that endurance, but have not changed a whole lot. We brought in a few mechanical advances, but we still make the candy by hand. So not every piece of candy is going to look the same, but for us, we think that's something really special. I think that there are very few family-run companies that have been around as long as we have and have been as successful as we are. This is definitely our season peak. We probably sell 60% more in this time of year than the rest of the year. This is the candy factory. We're about a mile away from the plant, even though we don't own Piedmont Candy anymore. We're very happy to continue in the retail store. You know, we've been in the candy business for over 100 years, so we're certainly happy to keep the family line going.